so, Clinton, uh, a lot of people have said earlier in the season when Everton were having, you know, some difficult times that, that it was a long injury list. Um, this is a side now with Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison, Decore, all playing, strengthened by Van der Beek, Deli Alley as well. And, and yet they still look awful. Yeah, the only one he's missing is Damari Gray, but you're right. Who could be back this weekend, Yeah, he by could the be way. back and, yeah, then not good, not being good enough. It's, it's plain and simple, not good enough. For, for five, ten minutes against Tottenham in the first first half, they were OK. They, like, they got around and started pressing. And then after that, once you concede the first goal, they just looked like no confidence whatsoever. And you know what? Tottenham took their foot off the pedal in the second half. It could have been seven or eight. It could have been even more, I thought. It, it, it just weren't good enough. You see the changes that Frank Lampard was making. He's thinking, I ain't losing seven, eight or nine mm. because it, this confidence will be low. So he's taking off attacking players, putting on more defenders. And he came out, he was honest after, and he said, it ain't nowhere near good enough. We need performances, like big performances. He says, at home, we can't just be a team who's going to play at home, pressing out the front in front of the goodest and faithful who the fans always get behind them. But that away performance <clears> against Tottenham, nowhere near the standard. If they play like that, Jeff, they will get relegated. I don't think Everton will get relegated. That's, I think there's enough still in that team to get out of trouble. These next two games they've got, the Wolves at home, Newcastle at home, they have to win. You have to win. Because then after that, the six or seven games they got after that are really tough. Uh, I mean, Bodie, after that game as well, Frank Lampard said that nothing has surprised him since he arrived. <clears throat> Surely he must have been surprised by... It, we, you know, nothing surprised him. Well, 5-0 down at Tottenham, that must have surprised him <laughs> after 55 minutes. Well, I think, to be honest, I think the only thing that might have surprised him is that Anthony Gordon has been the best player for the last number mm. of weeks. And that's a young boy who has obviously come through the academy and, and uh, been there for a while and gets it, understands it. The rest, oh wow! Um, I don't know where, I don't know where you start. And um, I mean, that's us here, you, where we can <laughs> say anything. You know, as a manager, you need to be careful what you say, um, or you'll lose the players. And I think, you know, we were all in agreement that uh, you know when Frank Lampard went in there, he would turn them around um, because you felt as if it mm. was a whole Rafa Benitez thing. But maybe it wasn't actually Rafa Benitez. The players are just absolutely miles off at this moment in time. And you've got to say the defending has been absolutely shambolic. Um, you know, we, we heard about you know Keane being a leader and dominant, and but it's been absolutely nothing like that. Um, after, after that game, um, Frank Lampard revealed that Michael Keane had been struggling because he'd asked him to play when he was unwell, and it brought really an unkind response on Twitter saying, "Has he been ill for the past three years?" Which you know that was a bit harsh because he, he gives look he gives his heart and soul as far as Everton are concerned. There's no doubt about that. But let's talk about you know, home away, because the form is very different at the moment, Merce. There are away games, uh, uh, five of them, four of them are at West Ham, Liverpool, Leicester and Arsenal. They've also got Watford away. So does salvation have to come at Goodison Park if it's going to come? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I'm looking at them games. I don't... I, I see teams at the bottom and I still, for how bad Watford have been at times, I still think there's a well result, a well result in Watford along the line somewhere. You reel them games off and I don't see Everton going there and getting a result at them games. I just don't see it. I think, I think they need four points out of these next two games. I think if they don't get the four points in the next two games, I, I personally think they'll be the team that go. I think they'll be the team that go. They're, they're, they're fixtures after this. And that means if you don't get four points in these two games, your confidence mm. is completely gone. Then you've got no chance in the other games. I think two of the biggest games Everton will play for a long, long time, in my opinion, these two games. Um, yeah, I mean, they were fortunate, weren't they, as well, that, that Norwich and Watford, Burnley and Leeds oh, have all lost, be, you they? know? And there's such a, there is also speculation that Everton could be subject to a points deduction. Yeah. Um, wow. over breaching profit and sustainability rules, I should say, over allegedly breaching profit and sustainability rules. Clubs are allowed to lose around £105 million over three years. That's now been extended to four, but Everton have been losing a lot more than that. So it's just another grey cloud on the Goodison horizon. 